Let's bring in one of the top analysts on liquor stocks in particular, Tim Ramey. He's a senior analyst at Davidson and Company. He's in Lake Oswego, Oregon. Tim, welcome to In Business. Thanks, Margaret. So if I want to buy in to one of these sin stocks, in particular in alcohol, uh, what's my best choice? I think Constellation Brands is really the standout in the alcoholic beverage category. Wine is the fastest growing category in alcoholic beverages, and Constellation Brands is the big player in the wine sector. So we're buy rated with Constellation $28 price target. Well, we are, what, halfway through the grape harvest, according to your note. Uh, what does the wine season look like? Well, actually, the grape harvest is over by now. but. Um, we, we had an okay harvest in California. It was down from uh, 2010, and that's probably good. It takes some of the pressure off of uh, sort of the bulk wine market, and bulk wine is the thing that undercuts pricing for the big branded players. So the, the pricing favor is, is where? What portion of the market? Well, the pricing is really, uh, the, the growth is really best at the high end of the market. The $20 and up bottles are moving fastest in double digit growth right now. So consumers are back to trading up on wine. <laughs> what do you attribute that to? I think it's an affordable indulgence. I think uh, you maybe can't uh, buy yourself a new car this year, but uh, you can enjoy a nice bottle of wine. Well, I'm looking at your latest note here uh, on Constellation Brands, and you were saying that really you, you were expecting uh, margins to be down 15 to 20 percent in the third quarter. What are you forecasting for the fourth? Oh gosh, I, I don't have I don't have the margins in front of me right now, Margaret. I'm sorry, but they're they're enjoying um, decent margins across the sector in in wine um, and. You know, that has to do with uh, better pricing and better portfolio mix. So if it's not Constellation Brands, uh, what are my other options? Well, we also follow uh, Beam, as was mentioned, and uh, Brown Foreman, both of which have done uh, reasonably well, as was mentioned. Um, the spirits business is back um, to growth as well. And we're also seeing the same phenomenon in spirits, where there's uh, trade up and particularly strong growth in the high end. Um, uh, spirits priced $35 and up are growing in double digits. $35 and up, and then it's $20 and up for wine itself. Um, who is this consumer? I think this is um, this is middle America. Um, you know, wine and spirits have typically been kind of a bicoastal market, but it's, uh, it's filling in, um, you know, to the middle of the country as well. Um, and, uh, you know, th this is a, a market that skews to baby boomers, uh, to people that have, you know, some level of affluence. Uh, and those people, by and large, are doing okay in this economy. All right. Thank you very much.